need a way to clamp the hopper down onto the lower barrel and encapsulate the fire tube and create our seal on both sides. Copying what Wayne's done on a couple of, of uh, his builds now. <clears throat> so I got some, well, let's see, what is this? Didn't even measure. Inch and an eighth square tubing, 14 gauge, cut on a 45 degree angle flat on the back. Three and a half inch, three eighths bolt, drilled center. I have two nuts on the bottom right now that's basically just to set this as a space. And this will get welded to the hopper and to the bottom barrel. And we're going to set about this spacing or somewhere pretty close because the hopper does not go down into the fire tube assembly very easily. It's got a bit of squish to get it in there. So we use the bolts to actually draw it down. We're going to mount these on four corners around the circle. So I just divided it up evenly. Like I said, bottom barrel, top barrel, we'll be able to get the hopper set on crank this bolt down while holding the nut and we'll squish the whole assembly together. Now final assembly won't be for a while. When that happens it'll get a bead of silicone top and bottom high temperature red. But for now those are built. They're ready to get put on. Notice there I use a couple of nuts as my spacer. That does two things. It sets my space up off of the barrel uh, rib right here to make sure that all of these will be in the same plane all the way around along with the bottom one. <clears throat> but because that nut has a flat surface that lays flat, if I lay this on it flat, that means that both of these will be parallel to each other and the bolt can freely move. which means when I go to clamp it down, everything should seat down pretty equally. Got the tar drain pipe tacked in place. Got all four eh, mounts welded on. Next thing is take this guy, get it coped out to sit right there. I want it facing straight at the cab. And the reason I bought this particular adapter is how long it is. You see it sticks quite a ways past the heat exchanger standoff, which is what I want because when I cope it out, I want this thing to sit flush with this edge vertically. That way when I put my 90 degree turn to bring the air inlet straight down, it lands right in between, facing right at the exhaust. Because this build, I do believe, and it might not be right off the bat, but it will have an exhaust heat exchanger as well. So we're gonna have heat recovery off the exhaust, heat recovery off of the gas, and everything glorious about the Wayne Keith gas fire inside. So I got the heat exchanger body sitting on. I have the heat exchanger itself sitting down inside. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna measure down from the top how far my heat exchanger sits in. Here's the, right at three inches. So I'm gonna give myself a witness mark at three. I know that that is the top of the heat exchanger. 
Now, obviously, I don't want this sitting right at the top. I want it down a little bit where there's going to be room for welding on the thread adapter onto the heat exchanger inside. And let's see, my heat exchanger also has that weld because I used a muffler. So I want to go down at least an inch more than that to keep that out of my welding area. So there's four inches. And I want this guy facing straight at the cap. Boy, I wish this barrel was flat. I fitted it to a perfect barrel and this one's pretty bent. Looks like right about there. Now I know where I need to clean up. I'll get this cleaned up as well. Because I'll be able to weld that on, blow the hole out of it, stick my threaded pipe in and get it tacked, or at least, at the very least, traced out on the heat exchanger body. Pull the heat exchanger out, get it welded on, get the hole blown out, put the cap on this thing. Because remember, it's still open top in the heat exchanger, so I've got room to work uh, around it and get that threaded piece on. Once that's done, uh, I can thread it back down in here, test fit my pipe, make sure everything's gonna work. And I, I always leave my pipes long, so I'll actually have to open up the back window to slide the pipe through the cab and then get it back in here, weld it in place. Then I'll mark it where I wanna cut it and turn it down. bad for a plasma cut. Pretty hard to make a circular cut inside of a cylinder accurately. But you can usually just trust where your weld line is, cut about you know, eighth inch to three sixteenths inside of it. That gets you pretty close. Once the hole's opened up, you can go back through and carve it out a little more if you need. I don't think we're going to need to. in it up against the heat exchanger and get the threaded adapter welded onto it. Sure would be nice if I had a deck on this already. and a little bit of wiggle room don't hurt. All right, get this over to the bench, get it welded up. Just like always, before we blow the hole out, water tap.
I'm gonna say it probably burned in pretty well. And I'm sure I just broke some internet welder's mind by welding cast to stainless. But I don't care. It's holding water, so it's going to hold gas. Now we'll get the hole knocked out. piece of 55 gallon drum for a top now I'm gonna go through and fill this port water test this weld it's all good we'll buzz the rest of that off and the heat exchanger is done you can see uh, maybe you can see There, you can see the water in it. No leaks. So now we'll get that excess cut off. So there's the finished heat exchanger. Threads welded on, cap on it, water tested. Cuts don't have to be pretty, it ain't gonna matter. Uh, both of them I've done now, I've noticed when they get welded, they get a little hump right here. Totally fine, because that's gonna help shed some ash off the top. Because you will get ash that piles up for a uh, soot that piles up on top there that needs to be washed off periodically so if it's got a little bit of a slope ain't gonna hurt nothing it's gonna help you hopefully go a little bit longer between cleanouts so that's ready to go back in um yeah figure out where i'm going from here I'm starting to run out of material for uh keep going i'll see you guys in the next episode thanks for watching